Hi, this is Andrea. Welcome to my craft channel. I'm working on... I don't know if this could be a short video or a long video. So settle on in. <laughs> We're running at two speed. Doing the August ABCs and all the things junk journal challenge 24 for Dear Julie Julie. And these are the um, digitals I chose. Oops. I chose. I think this is Pansy, Pansy Digital, and Antique Sewing, see if I can show you some of these, look at that, pretty cool. Clothes, different blouses. Look at this one. Ta -da. This one. These ones. Look, that's like a. It's one of those three tag items. And these. Look at this. All these old sewing machine parts. I have a sewing machine that was my mom's downstairs and it looks like this at the top but not this at the bottom it's like one of the first electric not the first but an older electric one it's not a singer I think it's a brother that's what I've done most of my sewing on I have a newer sewing machine over there that I'm currently having some trouble with so anyway I think I'm going to work on, so for this, we've got, we're making items, they all begin with a letter of the alphabet, A through Z, and then we pick items from the second list to use on that, and I'm going to start with the zine, and I'm going to do it a little differently, I'm using, where's the page I wanted to use? Yeah, this one. I'm going to use this one with the flowers in the middle like this. So, usually, I mean, she's got six packs. I think I have a six pack in my, do I have it in here or do I have it? I might have it in, I keep some of the paper, I keep some of the pages in here. Oh, it's not in there. Anyway, um, <laughs> I mean, not six packs. She does eight packs like that. But I wanted to use this because I like the flowers in the middle here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm... Do I want to cut off the edges or not? I don't know. I kind of like the white edges. Is that odd to like the white edges? I think it looks really good with the purple and the, the yellowish green here. Yeah, let's keep that like that. So, what I'm going to do is fold this in half, uh, what do you call this, scenic, no, um, anyway, landscape, yeah, I'm going to cut it in half and landscape, I hope my clothes don't show in the video because I'm still wearing my pajamas, it's laundry day here. <laughs> And then I'm going to like, oh, I'm going to fold this in half. Now that I think about it, I might want this. Do I want this off? No, no, no. I'll leave that on. And then I'm going to fold it in half again. Like, oops, let's see how it looks on this side. Let's do it this way. I'm going to fold it in half again. I didn't make this up. This has been around for a long time. Um, so I'm going to open this up like this. And then, well, it will look like this, right? But I'm just going to cut. 
from here to here. So like, I'll fold this in half and I'll cut with my scissors from there to there. So, let's use these ones. Sorry, there's gonna be a lot of shaking. So there's what the middle thing looks like that I took out. Put that in the trash. So what we got here, it's open in the middle, see? So I can pull these out like this. Oops. Fold this, fold this, and bring it together like that. We'll just fold it. Fold it open all the ways, all the different ways so we can get a nice fold on it. And then you can decide, you can decide is there a particular part you want on the outside? Like do I want this to be the front and this the back? You know what I mean? Or do I want this to be the front and the back? Or you can pick anything you want. Hmm. I think I'm going to pick this one. So, I'm going to go like this. Uh, and maybe I don't like how this looks here, so what I might do is I might put some lace here. I don't know if I know where my lace is yet. I've got, I've got things in the box I could use. Well, what I'm using as my, for my second, um, list for this one is the doily. So I have this doily that was given to me and I think I'll cut it into pieces and make, I mean look at that, I don't know if you can see that, that's a pretty design. But I think I want something to come off the edge here. So it'll be like a little booklet and I think we usually do We'll have two, we'll have, usually have four pay, four openings, so well, maybe I'll put little, let's do that. I'm going to take my, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to take my thing and make holes where this is going to go. So I'm going to make a hole here. And then... This one's going to be a hole at the top. Come on, you can do it, Andrea. <laughs> Shh, I can do it. And then I can put a hole here. this part so I got to decide do I want to use any do I want to do any inking right now I think I do because I'm trying to make this look like an older type of um, hold on. I think I do because I want to make this look like an older Type of journal because I'm using old stuff so maybe we'll do that let's we'll go around here I am really shaking a lot tonight sorry about that oops now oh, what's happening here oh yeah there we go gotta remember which page is which right this is my front if I wanted to, I could put a little sticky note right there, but I'll, I'll remember which one is my front. I'm just going to put... So how are you doing today? 
Are you working on anything? Do I want these little bumps to have a... Maybe I want to try and get some of that. Let's see. Yeah, that looks good. Let's do it here, too. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. I figured I'm going to try and do a couple of videos like this, see how I like doing it while I'm working on this journal. Because I usually just put videos up that are, um, you know, like flip throughs. There's going to be a flip through in a few days that's the last, the previous journal I made. I made it for my husband for his birthday. And since I'm giving it to him on his birthday, I don't want him to see the video before then. So it is set to upload a couple days after his birthday. I mean, it's it's uploaded. It's set to go live. Go live. It's alive. So I get all the pieces. Then I'm going to want to start gluing things. Um, uh, I don't have a current paper towel, so I just take a little piece off here. And where's my current wax paper? Here's my current wax paper that I'm using, so I'm going to glue some spots. So what I'm going to do is, I am going to glue close to this part on the bottom here first. You know, the, well, it was at the top when I cut it, remember? And I've been using this lately. Um, oh, sorry, art glitter glue. This is where I put my pen. I put it in here. I put it in between these two, these two red pins here. <laughs> That's how I know which one it is. Because one time I was pulling it out of the... I was pulling it out of here so hard that the, the little bead at the top came off. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to put some... Is it coming out? There we go. It took me a while to get used to using this glue because I shake so much. So what I have to do is I have to push it onto, I have to really lean it against what I'm using, you know? Because if I just do it like this, then it just makes a, it makes a squiggly line. So then on here, what I need to do is, this is my front. So wherever I have a pocket, if I had the, the whole top of this is open, right? So on the ones that the top is not going to be a pocket, I have to glue that shut. So coming up. Whoops! Make that a little more even. Get in there. So this one's going to be. A pocket at the top. This one is a pocket at the side, so I'm gonna glue here. Is it coming out? Yeah. I think that's it. So, what do I want to do here? I don't think it's sitting the way I want it to sit. Here's the scissors I use on stuff that's got glue in it. It's just, they're really just old scissors. They don't resist the glue. I just have to scrape it off every now and then. Look how, <laughs> look how much gets on there. Oh, I might be grossing me out. I have no idea. Let's see. Yeah, maybe, hopefully you're a better folder than I am. 
try to get a fold in here. If we don't, if we don't like the way it looks, you know, you can put extra stuff in here to make it look better. Ah, oh, what a mess! <laughs> Shh. Pretend this is none of this is happening. Pretend it looks. <laughs> pretend it looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can fold this better. I have this saying, it's called, you get what you get. <laughs> uh, I have, I've only been doing this for a few years now. I'm not an expert. I don't even know if I want this video to go up. This is how bad it looks to me. <laughs> So, we're going to put extra stuff on the front, I think. Why does it look like this? Oh, holy moly. Where's my... I really, I really messed that up, didn't I? How do I fix this? I'm going to have to pull this apart here. Ah, oh, this glue glues so fast. This this glue glues fast, the art glitter glue. But I'm getting some of it apart here. Let's see. If I glue it. I glue it like that. Here's where you come here. Come come to all my videos so you feel better. <laughs> about what about what you're making, because you're going to see lots of fun stuff. Lots of fun stuff. I can't guarantee that, but you know. So, this is a Dear Julie Julie Digital. And this is the thing I, I picked to put on here. So those two things have to be on there. And then I have to add three other things. So what I do is... I just decorate till I like the way the thing looks and then I decide, did, then I figure out did I, did I put enough items on. So let me see if there's something in the, do I want to use any of this? I think I wanted to use lace. I don't know what I did with my I don't know what I did with my container, uh, my regular container of lace, so I've just been using offcuts that I find laying around. I really got to clean the, I, I might clean, I, I don't know, I looked around for it. I looked, I have this big thing of ribbons, it's not in there. Let me get out the ribbons, maybe I'll find a ribbon I want to use, although, with this, Oh, this came with it, but there was another ribbon that came, um, this was one of the, so this, this is one of the things that was in, I don't know if you saw the other video, but I'm using items that belong to my husband's great aunt Myra. Um, so this ribbon was in there, and is there anything else in here I might want to use? I really thinking I want to use lace. Let me go look. Okay, so this is my main ribbon container. I have another one over that way that has um, vintage stuff in it. This is newer stuff. But I thought I had the lace in here because I had one of those laces the main lace I was using most of the time was one I got from the Dollar Tree because I really like it. Yeah, the lace isn't in here. Let me figure this out. Oh, maybe I'll use, I could use some of the, um, the measuring tape. That would be good. Um, yeah, so I've got what I do with the booklet. I have this, I have this, I have this. Is there anything else I want to put in here? Um,
Maybe there's a button. Is there a button I want to use? Uh, ooh, what is this? Hello. Look at that button. Um, I think maybe something white would do good on here. Well, this is white. Look at this is white and this is brown. So the reason I picked these colors and these and this colors too is because I picked a few of the fabrics that she had in her um, sewing box and they had these colors on it and I thought and they had and she has a lot of blue too so I thought that would all go together so 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 let's sew no, well, we might sew. Um, let's see what we can make the front look like first. I like these numbers. off like that. Oops. This stick pretty well. Does it stick pretty well or it sticks pretty good? Let me cut this right here. Alright, so. in there pretty good. How do I want the lace to look? Or, this isn't lace. This is doily. Oh, I should have it come across like this, right? Should I have some? Mm, I don't know. I want that flower to show pretty well. Oh, this is the problem I have with doing doily. All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it first <laughs> because, let me see something, yeah, I'm going to cut it first. because it'll be easier for me to figure out how to glue it. I don't have a, uh, my hands aren't very uh, steady, so I get what I get kind of thing. Okay, so I can glue this on and then I can just cut the rest off. So. What I will do is, I think I'm going to put some of this wax paper here. Yeah. So I kind of go around the, I don't know if you can see this, but I kind of go around the outside edge of this. I could do it as a pocket, but I don't, I don't want to do a pocket on the front. There's going to be so many pockets in it, and I, I kind of want to change the way the front looks a little bit. Because I had it, it was kind of 
bubbling up, if you remember. Yeah, let's come down the side here. Oh, is this in the picture? So I have it all the way to this edge. And then here's where it was going over the edge. So, close my drawer. And then, I am going to do this next. I think it's okay that it doesn't have the brown on this part because it's going to be like, oh, people touched this part a lot. That's what I think the look is going for, but I could be wrong. So, what else do I think will look good on this? I was thinking of a button. If I do use a button, I'm going to want some thread in that. Because everything on here would be white if I didn't do that. What if I put a little thread in there? What if I put the button down here? I'm going to put the thread in it first, I think. close my glue for a little bit. What did I do with the paper towel? Oh, here it is. Okay. So before you do it, before you do it, make sure you're, like I have a pretty big needle, so I want to make sure it'll go through my button first all the way. Yeah, it did. I need a big needle like that so I can see, <laughs> so I can see it. I have a thing for putting, for doing the, anyway, my hands are too shaky for the other thing most of the time. So let's do this. Oops. I used to be able to do this just by feeling it go through. Ah, those were the days. When I was young. I think I'm gonna do... I think I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna tie the two pieces together, but not to keep it from going through just to keep the two pieces together. I'm gonna sew through, I'm gonna go through the front and end in the front and then tie the two parts together. I just, sometimes I like that look. I'm just putting those together to keep that together. And I don't think I need to put wax on this, so, but I can, I could put wax on it. I mostly use the wax for when I'm binding the Finding the journal, but it'll be, since this is old thread, it would be nice to just to have wax on it. I think this is an old thing of thread. So I'm going to go through the front. I'm going to leave a tail, see? I'm going to come back. I'm holding on to the tail with my other fingers, see? Just knocked all the buttons. Over. Well, it wasn't that many buttons. 
We're going to go back through again. Come up. I'm just going to keep doing it till I like I like how much thread is there, till I like the color. You know, there's lots of fancy designs you can do and stuff. But I mean, maybe not with a two <laughs> maybe not with a two hole button. But I'm just doing this. We're going to go through one more time. And come up. Come on up. Come on up. And then, so this is what it looks like so far. And I'm just going to tie the front together. Stay still. Stay still. And then I'm going to leave a tail on. I'm going to leave tails on here. Boop. So this is what I'm doing. This is what it looks like. If you leave more thread on it, it'll be brighter. But let's see. For I gotta put my needle away before I forget. I'll put this thread over here in case I want to use more. I have this little I have this little <laughs> tray that I keep next to me that I just put anytime there's tiny things that I either want to use on that journal or I or I cut it off and I might want to use some more but I put it in that and I just put it on this little shelf next to me. So I'm going to put this in here. And put that and my scissors in here. I like to put stuff away right away cuz I that way I don't lose stuff. All right. So now I want to decide where do I want to put this on here? I kind of wish I had, I want to put some fabric behind that, I think. See, this is what I like to do. Decide what I like the way it looks first. Then think about how many items do I have on there. You know what I mean? Decide what, decide what you like. Don't think about the number of stuff. That, that'll get you, that'll mess you up, you know? But what if I cut a little piece of this and I put the two of those things on there? Let's see. How does that look? I don't want it on the edge. Oh, that looks interesting there. Uh, yeah, since that's fabric, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. <laughs> You know I'm knocking stuff over over here, right? Um, so, first I'll put this on. Exactly, you don't want this. Maybe there. Yeah. Some of it's coming through the fabric, so. <laughs> oh. Just want to get some of the. If you don't get the shiny stuff off, what'll happen is, when it dries, you can usually you can usually do this on it. You know what I mean? Kind of rub rub the peelings off. If you get some on the paper. So I definitely want to dry, uh, dry this off before I put this back. So sometimes when I have these, these zines, I like the idea that this is a zine, you know what I mean? Like, oh, you're reading something or maybe there's pictures in here. So maybe I want to put, um, well, I have this I have this old book that was hers. I could put some items from here in there. Um, this is interesting. Um, 
I'm doing a sleeve cuff, so I can cut that out. Or I could tear it out. Yeah, let's try tearing it out. Let's see if I don't mess everything up. I'm sorry. <laughs> this must be hard to watch. Just right around there. And then tear that off. Now, since this is really old paper, I might not feel like putting the edge stuff on there, you know? So I might just put this. Well, I think that would look better with the, with the, uh, what is this called? Ink and dauber, or you could call it something else, where you call it aging, antiquing, I don't know. We'll call it ink and dauber. I'm using... I'm using Vintage Photo Distress Oxide. That was the first one I ever bought because I saw people using it and at first I didn't like the way it looked and then, I, then it grew on me. I was like, oh, I do like that. So, since this is paper, I'm paper on paper. Move this. Uh, since this is paper on paper, I'm going to use my... This is the glue stick that I'm using right now because my other glue stick I can't find anymore. I was using I was using um, one of the Elmer's one and it was like it was like ultra craft bond or something. I haven't been able to find it in a long time. So I'll just put some glue on this. that here. There's still some places to write here. I don't know if anybody's going to write in this because I'm doing it. I'm doing this journal as in honor to uh, my husband's great aunt. So um, uh, do I want to put anything over here? Maybe. Do I want any more of this book for now? Maybe I want something else. I don't know if I'm going to take her sewing machine book apart, should I? I mean, look at these colors. This is this is like prime 60s, 70s dual ink colors, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I love it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So, do I have anything else I want to put in there right now? See, some of these things like this... Some of these little items I'm going to put as inserts into different things, you know? So, um, you know, let's see. What else do I got? Oh, and I also got out a, um, so she didn't have any, she didn't have any paper patterns in her stuff but I have this pattern that says 1953 on it she may have she may have um this is 1953 right there uh I, I think she may have just made her own dresses and altered her own dresses but she may have done um drapes so I thought this would be cool to put some drape stuff in here so maybe I'll put something what do I want? <laughs> Maybe we'll do it two pages over. Yeah, because it's going to be hard to write in this side. So, should I put... Maybe I'll put this one. That, that might be too big. What is small enough to fit in here? Oh, here's some small things. I'm um, small things, I mean.
Yeah, I think I want to do this again. That's the Tombow Mono Glue Stick, which is working pretty well for me. So, do I like it so far? I still don't like how this pops up here, but I think maybe when I have something in this here, it'll block that. Or I could put lace up here and it'll block that. Oh, let's see. So anyway, I have the digital, I have the base thing is the zine, okay, and um, the thing I picked from the other list was doily. I still have more doily I can use if I want to put more doily in here. I could put doily at the top if I want. Um, so then I added fabric, a button, thread, uh, this is paper measuring tape, so that's four things. Um, this is from a book, that's five. This is from the sewing pattern instructions. I don't know if you count that as separate or not. It's two different things. So that's six. And then I have the ink and dauber. I don't really know if these get counted or not. So what I have six things plus my original. And then still, so sometimes I'll just do that, right? I might think, oh, I might come back and, and put something else on this later. But I like this the way it looks you know, but I do think if I find lace, I might put lace at the top. I think that'll look interesting. So anyway, hope that wasn't too long for you. And until next time, happy crafting.